Investigators point to alcohol as a factor in a deadly head-on crash on Highway 24, but nearby residents insist there's more to this story. They say the busy stretch in East El Paso County has now become too dangerous under any conditions. Cardio News Channel 13 Scott Harrison explains what CDOT is doing about it. The deaths of two people Friday morning near this intersection of Highway 24 and Palomino Drive in El Paso County once again has residents concerned about safety on the 25-mile stretch of the highway between Cowhan and Colorado Springs. Residents along Highway 24 have complained for years about accidents that seem to be getting worse and happening more often. State troopers say that there have been fewer than five fatal crashes this year, but that's still too many. CDOT says it has and will do more to improve safety. We did complete in 2017 widening, um, but it was west of Falcon. We do have another widening project that will take place in probably the next three to four years that will widen another section um, from Garrett to Falcon. Um, we are doing some safety improvements. Friends of Melissa Piccioni, one of Friday's crash victims, say that they welcome any additional measures that may save lives. Residents say that the safety improvement they'd most like to see along this affected stretch of the highway is for CDOT to lower the speed limit to under 65. However, at present, CDOT has no plans to do that. In El Paso County, Scott Harrison. KRDO News Channel 13.